Good morning, guys. Good morning. Today we are in Freeport, Bahamas. As you can see in the background, a rainy Freeport, Bahamas. I'm not happy. I'm not happy because we had a plan for today. The plan is already paid for, and hopefully this passes soon so we can get on with the plan. So you want to tell them the plan? We're supposed to be headed to an, uh, a resort. It's Lighthouse Point at Grand St. Lucia, and it is a day pass resort. You can get it on resortpass.com. We paid $30 for the day pass. That is not the all-inclusive op option because we knew we were going to be there the whole time. It includes uh, chairs, umbrellas, uh, water activities. We are a little disappointed because it's raining right now, and it's cutting a little bit into our day, but hopefully it passes soon. Yes, because we've already paid for it. <laughs> and we're going. We're going to go. Yes. So, Stay tuned. Find out. You'll be there when we're there. We ain't got no choice. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Sausage French toast. I got a mushroom frittata, bah Bahamian potatoes, and it's just basically breakfast potatoes with onions and peppers so, and some bacon. <clears throat> just wanted to try a little variety of everything out. I think you guys saw my plate. Oh, and a piece of turkey sausage. I will show you the plate. And Brandon got sausage, bacon, waffles, and scrambled eggs. I will go ahead and give it a try, let you know how it tastes. All right, French toast. This average cruise line French toast. This is the mushroom frittata. It does look like the mushroom is just sitting on top. It's not baked all the way through. I don't know if you guys can see that. It does have some onion in it. But it's very plain. Breakfast potato. It's good. It's good. It's got a little kick to it, but it's good. Potatoes are crispy. A side note, I did get them as soon as he brought them out, so it's really good. They're really fresh. Um, pork sausage patty. Very good. Turkey sausage. It's, it's actually good. You can't tell it's turkey sausage. And we know bacon tastes like bacon, so. It's a pretty solid breakfast. Like I said, the French toast is average cruise ship breakfast um, French toast. And the eggs could use some salt and pepper, so I'll probably do that on the frittata. But outside of that, it's pretty good. All right, so the gangway is on deck three. So this is where we get off is on deck three. All right, so now we're trying to get a taxi to Grand Lacayan. Uh, we were just pointed in this direction, so we're waiting to see how much it costs. That's just seventy dollars we're gonna eat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but thankfully, I misheard and he yeah, said fourteen a person. Yeah. Yeah. Because I had to say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's what we're doing now. We're waiting for a cab. Um, apparently, they are not plentiful, so you just kind of gotta be patient and wait. This is kind of the road you will take if you go rogue and not go with a ship excursion here in Freeport. You kind of gotta just get in where you fit in. So. But knowing the price of the resort and the, what it is in a taxi, I think it's it's worth maybe a little bit of the. Okay. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. We'll add it up. 
Um, so right now we're in for 74 the resort with taxes and fees, and then 14 per person for the transportation there and back. So that's another $28. So we'll see. We'll see where we're at. A few moments later. There's not much more that could be said. Uh, it broke down and we're waiting for a ride. So it was, like, it was making a noise, but I was like, maybe it'll get us there. Yeah. yeah, but you know, once you start feeling it slow down and it's like the transmission ain't doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, oh wow! I said we got another three miles to go. So ahead and get us out. Uh, yeah. Damn. So at least, we'll, he, at least he was able to find us like a, a safe space to stop. Yeah, I yeah. think that's what he was looking for, but. I know once it uh, we were going up that hill. Yeah, he was barely going up the hill. Yeah. Yeah. So we will uh, we'll see how long it is now. Eleven o'clock. So we'll see how long it actually takes for us. So we got in the cab at ten forty-five. So we'll see how long it actually takes for us to get a ride. And, and he said the, the last cab back is at uh, three. Three. So we've already cut our time back because you know we're not going to wait for the last cab to go yeah. back. So uh, we'll see. Alright, so this is uh, bus number two, so let's see if this gets us there. We've got three miles up, so. So we have finally made it to the Grand Lucayan Resort. We got checked in. It is now 11.29. It's a beautiful resort. So basically it's taking us for an hour to get here. Yeah, some car trouble. <laughs> yeah, some car trouble, but we are here nonetheless. So we are gonna go and explore a little bit and um, see what we can get into with the little time we have left. So let's go and... Uh, about three hours. Yeah. Leave about two thirty. Yeah, because definitely we don't want to be on the last cab back. So the last cab back is at <laughs> three. Three. Yes. So, and back on board time is at four thirty. So. Schwan, can I take him home? No. No. All right. He's gone. Aww. You're gonna let me take him on the gecko home? With I am not. Point, right? No, I ain't. So if you don't go with the all-inclusive package, they do have what they call um, waves, which is their bar. I don't know if you guys can see this. The wind is being very picky. Um, but they do have a buffet. So the buffet is $28 for adults and $18.50 for children. Um, these are the items that you can actually get. So you can actually get um, a sandwich station. They have a salad bar, chicken tenders, french fries, nachos with cheese sauce, vegetable lasagna. And then they have beef hamburgers and hot dogs notice that the 15 percent gratuity and taxes are not included with the price of this so um keep this in mind if you do go with the not all-inclusive option just a day pass resort option just because you will have to incur those extra charges but i will say this the drinks are super cheap, like $7.50 a drink. The highest drink they got on the menu was $11, and that's one. Beers are $5, and then they do have uh, wine as well between $10 and $12.50. So um, once again, great prices, but also think about 15% gratuity, and taxes will be added onto your bill. Right now, we have spent how much, babe? While we've been here? Yeah. Uh, other than the fact we are prepared to get in, while we've been on the resort, we haven't spent anything. We haven't spent anything. So just keep that stuff in mind um, and just know um, that if you come, it may be easier not to book through Margaritaville at Sea. You can actually book through um, Resort Pass 
com, or you can actually go directly to the Grand Lucian, uh, Grand Lucian. What is it? Grand Luke. Grand Lucian? It's not, it's not Lucian, they correct you. Grand Lucian. Yeah, there you go. You can go straight to the Grand Lucian site and you can buy a day pass there. Uh, we brought it on resortpass.com. It was 30, it broke down to about $35 a person after taxes. So the, those are some of your options and uh, just wanted to give you that update. Each other. Uh, absolutely. We already know what the outcome is. Yeah, I'm gonna dominate every time. Look, for a contest. A sig in the wild. Oh, geez, not this again. <laughs> there's a sig in the wild. You see it? No, I don't see anybody. I don't see other news. <laughs> there's a towel hut, and there's another end of the pool. Look, there's a sig. Oh. Walk the one way. You, let me see you walk, 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 walk. <laughs> oh, please, God. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you better strut, 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 strut. I'm signing off. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh She's here! Ooh, go ahead, girl! <laughs> All right, so they do have a spa here, as you can see, and fitness center. Um, you should be able to tour it and actually take advantage of it. I don't know if it's a part of your day pass, but it's something you can definitely ask. There are also restaurants on site, so you do have options of eating if you want to. Uh, if you're going to be here for a whole day, you do have eating options. So we're gonna go find a restroom and take some more pictures before we leave to head back towards the ship. The ship. Um, they do have a bar in here. It doesn't look to be active at the moment, but this is the restaurant. There's a short excursion desk, concierge, plenty of seating, and then hotel check-in. How was your day here at Grand Lacayan? Our time, I shouldn't say our day. How was our time here? Very relaxing. Very relaxing. The weather was a little up and down. Uh, yeah, I mean the rain, the rain kind of drove us in. I appreciated there being no, as weird as this sounds, I appreciate there being no sun for about 30 or 40 minutes and the breeze came in. Yeah. And uh, so that, that was very enjoyable. Just sitting there on the beach was pretty relaxing. Nothing like groundbreaking. It was relaxing. Uh, say if you, you just want to get off the ship and just come to just come to relax on the beach, this is, this is a good place to go. Better than Taino Beach. Absolutely. <laughs> we are now walking back also to- Like it's less crowded. 
Uh, yes. And that's more room and that's less crowded. Even with Carnival ship coming in a little later than ours did, it still wasn't as crowded as it could have been. No. no. So that's one thing I appreciate, it's less crowded. And all right, so we are now currently walking back to um, the straw market to actually catch our taxi. But the lady at the uh, desk said that we could actually come over here and tell the security we have a ticket for a taxi and they can get us one. So we'll see how that works. See if that saves us a couple of steps. Cause not gonna lie, the sun is beaming. Yeah, I, mean, I was trying to leave that out of it uh, because that's just inherent. But yeah, it's, it's pretty hot. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna hold that against anybody. But anyway, we were told to walk. <laughs> so we're walking. <laughs> All right, so the hotel is actually just right here. Um, we came from down this sidewalk, but the straw mar market is right here. So it's not, it's not even a five minute walk, if, if anything. Yeah, it's like a five minute walk. Uh, it, it wasn't worth like... Asking for a ride. Yeah, like if we could walk it, you know, we're healthy. Yeah, we got it. Our legs work. Absolutely. We've got three we're knees. Good. How are you? How many the Uh we're headed back to the ship, but thank you. We got we got three knees between us. Who who has one less knee than the other? You do. You <laughs> it's me, huh? Yeah. Okay. So I got two knees, working knees. So Strong has a working knee. Ride, you'll just let me jump on your back? That's absolutely not what I said. <laughs> Congratulations to the member of the month, Kathy B. Thank you so much for your support, Parkers on the Go.